Yeah, excited. Um, I think everyone knows we've got the group of death, but uh, there's a few of them that seem like that. Uh, excited to get stuck into a new competition and obviously uh, it'd be great to play in a, a top, top team like Clermont. Good stint uh, coming out of the Premiership. Uh, a good win last week and I think boys are ready for for the next level, I guess. It's good, you know, it's good feeling. We've done alright in the Premiership. Um, we're pretty happy with where we are. I think we could be a little bit better, so I think it's good to break it up a little bit. Going to Europe, it's a whole new competition. Um, of course, it's Clermont who uh, we played last year in the semi final, so um, it'd be interesting. I mean, we're at Allianz Park. Um, normally, we go away to Wembley and stuff to play, play that game at a big place, but I'm glad we're playing at Allianz Park. There's a long way to go. We know how hard it is to reach semi final finals, and we've fallen a little bit short in the last couple of years but um, that's all been on the back of sort of getting off to decent starts and, and getting out your pool and no one's got a tougher pool than us so we'll just focus on one game at a time and see where, see where it lands us come qualifying time. Especially with a new competition it's just something new and having such a big team like come on, um, they don't come every day do you? you don't get to play against teams like that every year so it's really good I think it'll be a good atmosphere on, on Saturday and um, yeah, I mean, I really enjoy playing at Allianz at the minute and yeah, I think it's a good place for us and we just need to keep winning there. It's the first um, big European Cup game we've, we've had at home um, and I think, you know, before we've played at Wembley and, and these big arenas, I think everyone's looking forward to playing at our, our real home ground this time. They see some top international players that they don't get to see um, every week and um, we're playing against um, some top fresh French internationals as well as players from around the world in this style of the Claremont team, so uh, hopefully they, uh, they they pack the stadium and make some noise. We threw a lot at them last last time, a lot of new stuff, um, so they definitely would have learned, learned a lot about what we did to them, the, the tactics we tried to um, put on them, so they'll, they'll be a, a, a better a better team, better prepared I guess, um, but again we've got to come with a, with clarity and, and, and take, take it to them really. They'll be very disappointed, I think it'll still be in the back of their minds what happened at Twickenham, so I think they'll be very physical. Um, they won't be used to a, a, a ground and stuff and the pitch, so I think that'll take a bit of getting used to in the bounce of the ball and stuff, so that'll be an advantage, but they're a big pack and got a great back line, I, I think they'll be, they'll be tough to beat. They went in there with a game plan and uh, the game plan worked. The coaches worked really hard to see what uh, moves and strategies and stuff to do, and last time it, it went perfectly. Well, wow. yeah, perfectly. So hopefully with the plans and ideas this time, it will go the same way or we'll get the big W. Well, we, we want to be a, a top team competing in both the Premiership and Europe, so we're massively excited by this challenge, but um, it doesn't make it any easier just because you want it a lot than uh, all the other teams are in exactly the same boat, but um, we, we definitely one of the clubs' ambitions to be at the forefront of European movement.